Hi, this is Mark Hirschman. I'm going to show you how to fold a dollar bill mouse. And I'm using a dollar bill proportioned paper, uh, starting with the lighter side up, and I'm going to pre-crease in half both directions. So, valley fold in half, lining the corners, opening up, and now I fold in half the opposite direction. Lining corners, extending the fold, and opening out. Okay, going to valley fold corners to the center. And I'm going to take the new edge and belly fold that to the center, and the fold should extend all the way to the center crease. Repeat on the opposite side. Okay, I'm going to belly fold in half, half along the existing crease. Going to valley fold these new corners to so hit the center crease. Now take this colored section here and I'm going to uh, fold along the one third mark. So that's around here. So this width and this width should be about equal. Once I found that spot, I'm going to commit and flatten. I'm going to form a very tiny pleat along this tail area. I'm going to first wrap around the tail so it hugs the hidden edge below, creating a mountain fold. And bring out the tail by forming a very shallow valley fold. Looks like this from the other side. Can barely see the pleat. I'm going to flatten that. And I'm going to take these white corners here and mountain fold them behind, tucking them inside. Two mount each side. I'm going to valley fold these corners out about one third the width, like so. Keep that on the other side to match. So we'll create ears and fold them the tip a little bit to give your mouse a nose. Okay. You're going to simply mountain fold along the center spine, if you will. Nice and sharp. Give a little pleat at the tail. Lining that, make sure all the edges meet at the base. Open out the ears a little bit, lift them up a drop, make sure your model stands, and we have a completed dollar bill mouse.